How you doing, everybody? Welcome back to Staying Focused for Jesus. It is early. Oh, my God, it's early. It's so early that uh, I didn't even <laughs> comb my beard. I just jumped out of bed and brushed my teeth and stuff and um, sitting here at work about to go in. So if you see me like this, you know, <laughs> I literally just got out of bed and left the house not too long ago. But y'all know I'm, I wake up ready to go, but that don't mean I wake up like, oh, just my beard looking, looking like it stepped out of heaven. <laughs> but um, on a serious note, I did the videos before about Stephen Darby, and I spoke what the Lord put on my heart. I spoke what the Lord put on my heart. I spoke what I saw, and some people agreed with it. Some people didn't agree with it. That's that's each individual person's choice that came across the video. I didn't do the video for likes because if you're exposing somebody, you're not going to get a lot a lot of likes anyway. Um. So what happened was, I received a email from a individual. I'm reading it. I'm like, okay. And they were pretty much reaching out to me because they used to be a part of his congregation. And they were, you could say like a, a core member, a member that was there from the beginning. And so they had a lot of knowledge of the inside workings, the actual inside workings of the ministry. They wanted their identity hid. So I'm in the process right now of hiding their identity on the video. Um, it's, the video is going to be completely audio, but you know, you got to have something to look at. It's going to be a picture of him probably. Um, so I'm in the process of doing that editing to mask their voice so you know to protect their identity this is how serious it is <laughs> it's so serious that when you hear the stuff when you hear the stuff that was going on you're gonna be like oh my god you're gonna be like oh my god and this isn't a i told you so moment this is a let's listen to god moment God didn't give me that message to just put out there. Hey, just put this out here to, to shame somebody. No, this is about truth. This is about people's souls. When when you hear the interview, if when you hear the interview, if if you're not if you're not shamed because for one you didn't see it, for two if you supported him even after the fact, after the evidence, you should really be shamed. For three, not listening to God, when God was showing you this, then I don't know what to tell you because the stuff that was going on, it's worse than what you think. The stuff that was going on is, I don't know what's going on now, you know, in regards to that, because Darby is gone, but the stuff that was going on in that ministry, as I'm doing the interview, I put it like this, as I'm doing the interview and they are speaking about different things, I find myself getting upset, like wanting to throw something because of how deceptive and manipulative things were going on in this place now you may say well how do you know that this person ain't making stuff up that's for you to discern i mean <laughs> you ain't gotta believe nothing you hear you have to, you, there's gonna be people that don't believe now, i don't believe none of that okay that's your choice but the evidence speaks for itself and if this person is making this, that made this interview, did this interview, step forward to do this interview, um, is doing it and they're lying or whatever, then they will be held accountable just like me. 
So there's nothing to argue with about that. And when you listen to it, you can tell that the person isn't, they're not lying. You can tell the, the information, the knowledge that they're giving is solid, solid. I'm talking about like, oh, oh, you know, some of y'all like drama. You like drama. If you like drama, this interview is you're going to be like, oh, my God. Somebody call um call a TV network to make this into a, a mini series because. And then she didn't. We didn't discuss everything. We discussed some things off the uh, off the air, as they say, but we didn't discuss everything on the phone because if we if she certain things she couldn't say, because if she did say it, then she would have gave herself away. But I just want to drop this video to show you all that. So many people take this as a game. Y'all hear me talk about spiritual warfare all the time and not just talking about it. like, yeah, we have spiritual warfare and hi guys, hi guys, I'm living my best life. I ain't going back and forth with you. Um, some of y'all got it. <laughs> it's not that type of warfare. This is serious. Got my camo on. Stand focused for Jesus hat. I got my battle armor on. I got a black a black shirt on. But guess what? It looked like a black shirt. But this is all armor. All armor I got on in the spiritual. Like serious. These are the times that we are living in, and people's lives are being affected. People are 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 are, are dying and going to hell because pastors are draining the life out of them and i'm just talking about um darby but a lot of pastors draining the life out of, out of the people and then they on the brink of suicide and killing themselves and stuff oh my god i i can't wait till y'all hear this interview where people that have went to this ministry they were hurt so bad that they at the point where they stop praying. They don't want anything to do with Jesus. Jesus, the church, Christianity, nothing. When that's not what we represent. It's serious stuff. I know I keep on saying that. I'm just replaying the interview back in my mind. And, and when I go into work, I'm going to listen to it again. This is serious stuff. So, some of you are going to cry when you hear the interview. Some of you are going to cry. This is a powerful lesson for all of us. It's a powerful, powerful lesson for the individual and individuals involved. It's a powerful lesson for myself. It's a powerful lesson for all those who came against not only me, but others try to shame us. You can't, you can't shame me for the truth. Well, I know something is true and I'm hundred percent sure about it. <laughs> I'm like, a, I'm like a bull. I'm like a bull. You can have, you can have my, my gonads in the, in the, you know how to, with the bulls, they had the bulls and the way they make the bulls, um, when they doing a little bull run or whatever, did you know they tie the bulls nuts up, gonads, um, and that's what makes the bull go crazy? You can do all that to me. You ain't gonna stop. You ain't gonna stop this. Whatever you do to me, whatever you say, it's not gonna stop me from speaking the truth. Because if I don't speak the truth, then guess what? I'm gonna be held accountable too. So, man doesn't fear me. Man does not fear me. My flesh doesn't. I'm not even afraid of my own flesh. I used to be. You gonna do what I tell you to do? Yes, sir. Yes, master. My flesh used to be master. Now my flesh don't run nothing. So if I'm not even obedient to man, my flesh, and not even you know, why would I be fearful of um, somebody else? My fear is in the Lord, and I do what He tells me to do, and I speak it when He tells me to. Speak it, regardless if a person likes how I deliver it or not. The message is still the same, regardless if you listen to it from my perspective or somebody else's perspective. God is going to get his message and his word across 
as he said. So um, I'm working on it now. I got my wife working on it. I'm going to try to have it uploaded today. I'm going to try to have it uploaded today. It will probably be later, late afternoon or at night. If I can't get it uploaded today, I'm definitely going to try to get it uploaded um, by Monday. If I upload it Monday, it'd be like maybe 12, 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning or whatever. So, yeah, be on the lookout for that because some people is about to get exposed righteously. All the people that, you know, was talking all that crazy stuff, don't know what they're talking about. Everybody that was out here making all these videos. All these people about to be exposed. God is exposing people's hearts. Mine included. So this is what's going on. This is what's coming. And it's not something that I was looking for. It's something that literally fell in my lap. And we uh, collabed on this. And we're going to bring this to you. And we're going, uh, by the power of God, we're going to do what's supposed to be done. What Darby was supposed to be doing. And that's break some strongholds the right way, righteously. Not build them up. So with that being said, I'm going to close it out. God bless each and every one of you. In Jesus Christ's name, as always, stay focused for Jesus. And as you know, truth is not debated. It is declared.